Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This video addresses a topic that's essential for any off-road enthusiast who needs to air their tires up after a day on the trails. If you've seen my adventure videos exploring remote locations, you see several of them start off with me airing my tires down, generally to 18 PSI. Airing your tires down gives you a smoother ride, better traction, and less chance of punctures. But getting those tires back up to road pressure is key especially after multi-day adventures. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I bought all this gear myself. I will have links in the description if you want to check it out. If you use those links, I will get a small commission and it doesn't add any extra cost to you. In this video, I'll show you my two favorite methods for airing up tires that have worked out really well for me over the last few years. My go-to solution for airing up, especially on longer trips, can usually be found right here in the cargo box of my X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer my trusty Vyair 400P portable compressor. It's compact, powerful enough to handle my 35s, runs right off the vehicle's battery. I've had this thing for years, it's never let me down. Plus, it's a lot more versatile than a lot of the other solutions out there. I've also got a CO2 tank, but I'll talk more about that later in the video. I'll show you what you get in a bag when you buy the Vyair 400P. Get this nice carry bag, get a 30 foot coil hose, standard pneumatic fittings inside the top here. You're gonna get an inflation gun. Of course, you get the compressor itself. It came with these styrofoam ends on it. I duct tape mine. Other Otherwise, it was just styrofoam would have fallen apart. Got some extra filters, uh, extra uh, fittings for blowing up other stuff like air mattresses, even a, a basketball. So it's very portable, not too big. It has this vibration stand. So when it's running, it's not walking all over the place. Bayer also has a full line of compressors for passenger cars, RVs, larger off-road tires, as well as onboard systems. Bayer 400P, this model is exactly perfect for the tires that I have on my two Jeeps, 35s on one and 33s on the other. So this is our Gladiator Eco Diesel. It's got Toyo 35 by 11 half by 17 trail grappler mud terrains on it. I'm gonna take it down to 18 pounds per square inch and then I'm gonna see how long it takes the Vyair to air it back up to 37 pounds. I'm gonna use my handy air down tool. So I'm down to 18 pounds, and the deflator works by taking the valve core out, in case you didn't know. These are totally awesome. Now we'll hook up the compressor, and we'll see how long it takes to air it back up to 37. So whenever I'm using my compressor, I'm always having the engine running. Red to positive, black to negative. You'll probably hear that the compressor fired up. This 400P has an on-off switch, but it also has an automatic shutoff. So every time you want to stop it, you don't have to run over to the compressor to turn it off. It'll stop automatically. Now we'll see how long it takes for the Vyair 400P to get this 35 inch tire from 18 PSI to 37. And I've got a stopwatch right here, so we'll start right now. So that's about 37 pounds, and it took two minutes, 8.06 seconds to fill this tire up from 18 PSI to 37 PSI. We'll multiply that times four, that would be eight minutes. And then when you add my trailer on, that's another Another four minutes, so talking about about 12, 15 minutes, let's say, to get all eight, all six tires when I'm using my trailer with my Jeep. That's not too awful bad, really. This Vyair 400P has a one hour duty cycle, so you can use it continuously for an hour before it needs to shut down and cool down. Also, these metal parts get really hot when you're using it. You wanna definitely not touch these or rub up against these with, the, with your bare flesh and grab it always by the handle. Well, I know what some of you were thinking. Why not just get an onboard air system? Well, they're expensive, difficult to install, and they're not easily transferred between different vehicles. Take a look underneath the hood of this Eco Diesel. Not much room to install an onboard air compressor. And I don't like the idea of having an air compressor installed inside the cab of my Jeep. This portable unit gives me the flexibility to use with any vehicle I own, and it's way easier on the wallet. If you're finding value in the video, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. But let's be real. Sometimes you just want to air up quickly. And that's where the CO2 tank comes in handy. It's perfect for those quick day trips to your local OHV park. It inflates my tires in a flash and it's perfect for those quick trips. It also doubles as a handy tool in the garage for running air tools or just dusting stuff off. And if you're a mountain biker like me, then you know how, how great the CO2 tank is for seating tubeless tires. I also have this really awesome mount made by Power Tank. I haven't figured out a really great place to put it. I could mount it on my trailer, I could mount it on the Gladiator, or I could mount it on my Wrangler. If any of you guys out there have any ideas what you would, where you'd mount this, this thing, let me know in the comments. You can purchase a setup like this all ready to go from a company like Power Tank. Be a link in the description for one of them. 
But you can do do it also like I did. I DIY'd it, saved myself a lot of money. I bought my tank separately, my regulator separately, my hose, my fittings, and my filler with a gauge all separately and put it together myself. All it requires is a wrench and a little Teflon tape and then you're all set. It's very easy to do. I went ahead and aired this tire back down to 18 pounds so I could hook up the CO2 tank and see how long this takes compared to the compressor to fill up this tire. Got the stopwatch here and let's get ready. We're gonna go from 18 to 37 pounds. Okay, it took the CO2 tank 40.37 seconds to fill up this tire from 18 PSI to 37 PSI. The compressor took 2 minutes and 8 seconds. So it saved a little over a minute filling up the tire with a CO2 tank instead of the compressor. While onboard air systems have advantages for some folks, I think most overlanders will be happy to have either the compressor or the CO2 tank. And I recommend having one of each. Having the combination allows you ultimate flexibility. I've seen those multiple hose setups that blow up two or four tires at one time. I'm not really convinced that they save you any real amount of time. Pretty sure you can use them with any air compressor. Ultimately, the best way to air up your tires is up to your individual needs and preferences. If you're heading out on a multiple day adventure, an option like the Viair 400P can be a versatile and reliable choice. For quick trips or garage use, a CO2 tank is a great choice. Just remember, don't get caught up in the hype and overpriced gear that you don't need. Keep it simple, keep it practical, and keep exploring. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget on Muddy Ruts, the best is yet to come.